a borough that is known as the capital of the nation's oil industry, filled with the people who are proud of all of their villages, this is Point Fortin. And today, we explore this beautiful borough on Fairfax with South is Love. The Point Fortin we know today is actually the culmination of three distinct and separately owned cocoa and coconut estates, La Fortune, Clifton Hill and Adventure Estates. Some historians state this entire region of the three areas was once named Guapo. Of the three, the coastal estate La Fortune was the most successful over time and so this estate became the main area of focus for Point Fortin. The La Fortune estate was named after French planter Monsieur Fortin, who came to Trinidad under the cedula of population in 1783. The headland, a part of Fortin's grant, was named Punta del Guapo after the river Rio Guapo, meaning beautiful or majestic river, which was given by the earlier Spanish settlers. During the slavery period under Monsieur Fortin, the estate was known for producing sugarcane and the development of a fine sheltered harbour exporting the sugarcane crop. Punta del Guapo was eventually renamed to Point with an E for 10, and eventually the entire La Fortune estate became renowned as Point Fortin. Eventually, with British colonialism and prevalence of English speakers, the E was dropped at the end of point and the word Fortin was pronounced as Fortin. The name Guapo, which was once referred to as the entire region, became relegated to one village in the Point Fortin area. In an area that was heavily influenced by the British, the name Guapo is a reminder of our Spanish colonial past. Today's Guapo village was formed in the 1840s by former slaves who moved away from the three estates and settled nearby. Free Africans were also brought to Guapo village, landing at what became known as Freeman's Bay and settling in that village to work the land. These villagers were known as industrious people with an impressive knack for trade. Guapo also became famous for Creole rice, plantains, quenk and lap. In the 1840s, after the abolition of slavery, sugar production came to a halt due to labor shortages and travel in and out of Point Fortin was by coastal steamers alone as there was no road into or out of the area. This all changed in the 1900s when oil replaced agriculture in the area. In 1906, Geologist Arthur B.B. Thompson visited the library Pitch Lake and determined that there must be a large quantity of oil located near to this large concentration of petroleum deposits known as asphalt. B.B. and his crew then hacked their way through dense vegetation and found great oil deposits which led to the beginning of drilling and the change of Point Fortin. In May 1907, an American driller by the name of Allender began drill work in Point Fortin. This led to the establishment of Trinidad Oil Fields Limited in 1907 in the area. This company purchased the Clifton Hill Estates and leased the mineral rights in the La Fortune and Adventure Estates, thus beginning the development of the Point Fortin we know today. Due to a labor shortage in the 1920s, there was a drive to bring in many Grenada nationals to work on the oil fields. Therefore, throughout history, persons from Point Fortin have had a strong link to Grenada. One of our favorite soccer artists and proud Point Fortin native, Iowa George, often refers to the Grenadian jab celebrations in his music, highlighting Point's strong Grenadian connection. Point is the home of several prominent sports persons and cultural artists. A lot of them got their start in Mahaiko Oval and Point Fortin Civic Center. Even basketball superstar Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's grandfather was from Point Fortin. Some well-known names in culture are Fayan Lyons Alvarez, Neil Iowa George, Austin Lyons otherwise known as Super Blue, Calypsonian and Soka artist, Kelvin Pope otherwise known as the Mighty Duke. In sports, there are Tiba Charles, Avery John, Kenwin Jones, Keanu Thomas, Warren Archibald, Steve David, Anthony Douglas, the late Akeem Adams, and so many more. Samuel Walrond, a notable sculptor and one of our local heroes, was born in St. Madeline, 
but he made point fort in his home while working at the United British oil fields of Trinidad and Tobago. With his signature work built out of concrete and wire, he is regarded as one of the Point Fortin Borough Corporation's icons. Here in New Village Point Fortin stands the home of a man known for sculpting the Coffee and Sepero Street Pan Man, Marcus Garvey on Harris Promenade and the Butler statues in Faisabad. He passed away in 2014, but his memory lives on at his Tapia house where remnants of his statues remain.